engineering staff who are actually contracted in to maintain the railway for us and we have our own loco drivers and crews who are our civilian staff. The narrow gauge railway is a slight limitation, it's, uh, it's slow, um, when we use it a lot we, in spite of the best efforts at maintenance, we get uh, derailments, minor derailments so far, touch wood. Um, it is a limiting factor and we can't get into the wooded site when it's wet in, in road vehicles very easily. Supplied new to Chilmark in 1987 was this four-wheel diesel hydraulic loco number NG52. It was one of five similar locomotives built by Andrew Barclay of Kilmarnock, all of which worked at Chilmark and Dinton. This train of empties is heading out of the main Dinton site. The line first crosses the river Nadder before climbing steeply for half a mile through some characteristic broadleaf woodland, terminating in a maze of sidings which serve the ammunition storage bunkers. The brake van was an essential feature of narrow gauge operations as all trains were loose coupled. The main line has a considerable number of spurs leading off it, some of them just a few yards long and others up to a couple of hundred yards long. They serve a variety of storage bunkers, each well separated from its neighbour and effectively concealed for obvious reasons of security by the dense woodland. When Dinton was in active use, bunkers such as these were used to store incoming consignments of explosives, which were first checked and then stored away until such time as they were needed for a particular military operation. By 1994, however, the site was being cleared and the only incoming trains would be rakes of empties like these.